Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 31st of 2019, well it is titled Spitzer's Orion. So what do we see here? Well, we see the Orion Nebula, probably one of the most photographed objects in space, a very popular one, a relatively close star forming region. And here it looks maybe a little different than other pictures you might have seen of this nebula. But it is taken in this case with the Spitzer Space Telescope. So this is looking at it not in the visible spectrum, which is what we're used to looking at is the visible light red through violet, but in the infrared longer wavelengths out beyond the reds. And that allows us to see a different perspective on this object. And that's one of the reasons we like to study objects at different wavelengths because each view gives us something a little bit different. In this case in infrared we see the dust. Dust is warm and not hot like stars. Very hot stars, many thousands of degrees, give off lots of visible light. Dust at hundreds or just a thousand degrees or so gives off a lot of infrared light. So within a star forming region we have dust being warmed by these stars and therefore giving off a lot of infrared light. In addition, infrared light penetrates through the dust. The longer wavelengths are less scattered by the dust and it gives us a chance to peek in and to see inside these stellar nurseries and watch as stars are being formed. So it's one way to be able to study the early stages of star formation. Now the Spitzer telescope has been in orbit uh, for uh, well over a decade now since the early 2000s and is still scheduled to run through the end of this year uh, with the materials that it has. So it's been able to give us a great study of the sky and studying it at infrared wavelengths over that time. When we look at Orion, one of the things we see at the center is the trapezium cluster, the very hottest region, uh, very close to the center of the picture here. That is where some of the most recent star formation has occurred. The stars there are extremely hot, many tens of thousands of degrees, and are the stars that are really responsible for illuminating the Orion Nebula as we see it. Their intense ultraviolet radiation, which would not be well seen here, um, are, is the objects that are exciting all of the gases around Orion. So when we see a visible light picture of the Orion Nebula, we are seeing gases that have been energized by those stars of the trapezium. So here though we see the Orion Nebula, a little bit different image, looking at it in the infrared from the Spitzer Space Telescope. So that was our picture of the day for August the 31st of 2019. It was titled Spitzer's Orion. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Sisters in Space. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.